Most diesel owners think they already know how their engine works. They believe that if they drive gently, change the oil on time, and stick to a fuel brand they trust, their diesel will reward them with a long life. That sounds reasonable, but it is not the full truth. In reality, diesel engines follow a very different set of rules, and many experienced owners are breaking those rules every day without realizing it. There are hidden truths about diesel engines that almost nobody talks about. These are not small details. They are habits and behaviors that directly affect fuel mileage, reliability, and how long the engine lasts. What makes these truths surprising is that they often go against common sense. They even contradict advice that has been repeated for years. Most diesel owners learned how to drive from petrol cars. They apply the same logic to diesel engines, assuming the two work the same way. They do not. As a result, many people spend years driving and maintaining their diesel the wrong way. The damage does not happen all at once. It builds slowly, quietly, and expensively. The diesel owners who learn these hidden rules see a huge difference. Their cars use less fuel. They deal with fewer warning lights and breakdowns. Their engines feel stronger even with high mileage. While others complain that diesel ownership is expensive and stressful, these drivers enjoy smooth, reliable performance. One of the secrets you will learn later explains a very common habit that can destroy a diesel fuel system and cost thousands of dollars to fix. It is something most owners do without thinking, and chances are you have done it recently. Let's begin with the most surprising truth of all. Secret number one, diesel engines often improve with mileage. Most people believe engines slowly get worse as miles increase. This idea comes mainly from petrol engines, which often lose efficiency as they age. Because of this, many drivers assume a high mileage diesel is worn out. In many cases, the opposite is true. Diesel engines are built with extremely tight internal clearances. When they are brand new, many parts have not yet settled into their ideal working position. The piston rings need time to seal properly. The fuel injectors need time to develop a clean, even spray. Internal components slowly wear into perfect balance. During the first 50,000 miles or more, a diesel engine is still breaking in, even if it feels smooth. Combustion is not yet at its most efficient point, and friction inside the engine is slightly higher. As mileage increases, everything starts to work together better. The engine breathes more freely, fuel burns more completely, less energy is wasted, and more is turned into usable power. This is why many diesel owners notice something unexpected after years of driving. Better fuel mileage. It is common for diesel engines to gain 5-15% to better fuel economy after they pass the early stages of their life. This improvement can continue for a long time. With proper maintenance, many diesel engines stay efficient well past 200,000 miles. High mileage alone does not mean a diesel engine is near the end. In many cases, it means the engine is finally operating the way it was designed to. But this benefit only happens if the engine is driven correctly. And that leads directly to the next secret, one that explains why short, easy drives are often the worst thing you can do to a diesel. Secret number two, short trips slowly destroy diesel engines. Short trips may feel harmless, but for diesel engines, they are one of the biggest problems. A quick drive to work, a fast run to the store, or a short school drop-off may seem easy on the car. In reality, these trips cause more long-term damage to a diesel engine than long highway drives ever will. Diesel engines are designed to run hot and work hard. They need time to reach full operating temperature. This does not just mean the coolant warming up. The engine oil also needs to get hot, usually around 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Only at this temperature can moisture and unburned fuel burn off properly. Short trips never allow this to happen. The engine starts cold, runs for a few minutes, and then shuts off again. Moisture builds up inside the engine. Unburned fuel mixes into the oil. Over time, this creates acids that slowly damage internal parts. There is another major issue. Modern diesel engines use a diesel particulate filter, also called a DPF. This filter traps soot and needs high heat to clean itself through a process called regeneration. Short trips do not create enough heat for this process to work. As a result, soot builds up faster and faster. Carbon deposits begin to form throughout the engine. Fuel economy drops, warning lights appear, eventually repairs become unavoidable. The solution is simple but requires discipline. If most of your driving is short trips, you need to take your diesel on a longer drive at least once a week. A steady 20 to 30 minute highway drive allows the engine oil to heat fully and gives the DPF a chance to clean itself. If you cannot commit to this kind of driving, a diesel may not be the right vehicle for your lifestyle. 
Diesel engines reward long, steady use. They suffer when used like city-only petrol cars. Secret number three, idling is worse than driving. Many people believe letting a diesel idle is harmless. Some think it is even good for the engine. This belief is completely wrong. Extended idling is one of the worst things you can do to a diesel engine. When a diesel idles, combustion temperatures are too low. Fuel does not burn completely. This creates extra soot, which quickly builds up inside the engine and exhaust system. At idle, oil pressure is also lower. This means critical parts receive less effective lubrication. The engine never reaches proper operating temperature, so moisture stays trapped inside instead of burning off. Fleet operators and experienced diesel drivers understand this well. They shut their engines off during long waits instead of letting them idle. They know that idling causes more wear than starting and stopping. If you are waiting for someone, turn the engine off. After about one minute of idling, you have already used more fuel than a restart would take. You have also added unnecessary soot and moisture to the engine. Diesel engines are made to work, not sit still. Secret number four, diesel engines need load, not gentle driving. Many diesel owners believe they are protecting their engine by driving gently. They keep RPM is so low, avoid hard acceleration, and try to cruise as smoothly as possible. This feels like the responsible thing to do, but for diesel engines, this habit often causes more harm than good. Diesel engines are designed to work under load. They are built to pull, push, and work hard. When a diesel is driven too gently all the time, combustion becomes incomplete. This leads to extra soot, carbon buildup, and poor exhaust cleaning. Low RPM driving with very light throttle prevents the engine from reaching the temperatures it needs to stay clean. The DPF struggles to regenerate. Carbon builds up in the intake, valves, and exhaust system. This does not mean you should drive aggressively all the time, but diesel engines benefit from occasional strong acceleration. Letting the engine rev under load helps burn off carbon deposits and supports proper DPF regeneration. Once or twice a week, when merging onto a highway or passing another vehicle, give the engine proper throttle. Let it climb into the higher RPM range, around 3,000 to 4,000 RPMs, if safe and appropriate. This short burst of work helps keep the engine clean and healthy. Think of it as exercise for your diesel. Without it, the engine slowly clogs itself from the inside. Secret number five, fuel quality matters more than fuel brand. Many diesel owners are loyal to a specific fuel brand. They believe one company makes better diesel than another. In reality, brand matters far less than people think. All major fuel suppliers must meet the same basic standards. What really matters is fuel freshness and how the station maintains its storage tanks. A busy fuel station that sells a lot of diesel every day has fresh fuel with less water and contamination. A quiet station is riskier. Fuel can sit in underground tanks for weeks. During that time, water can build up. Microbial growth can develop. This leads to poor fuel quality that damages injectors and fuel pumps over time. The best choice is a busy station with high diesel traffic. Look for clean pumps and steady customer flow. Avoid stations that look poorly maintained or rarely used. Fresh diesel from a high volume station is far better than old fuel from a tank that has been sitting too long, even if the brand name is familiar. Secret number six, a clogged DPF does not always mean replacement. When a diesel particulate filter warning light comes on, many owners panic. Most dealerships quickly recommend replacing the DPF, often quoting prices between $1,500 and $4,000. What many owners are not told is that early DPF problems can often be fixed without replacement. If the filter is only partially clogged, it can sometimes be cleared through proper regeneration. This means driving the car in a way that allows the exhaust system to get hot enough to burn off trapped soot. If you see early DPF warnings, do not ignore them. A long highway drive can often solve the problem. Drive for 30 to 45 minutes at steady speed. Keep RPMs around 2000 to 2500. Avoid stop and go traffic. This steady heat can fully regenerate the DPF and restore normal operation. Even filters that are more clogged may not need replacement. Many can be professionally cleaned for a few hundred dollars, which is far cheaper than buying a new one. The real problem is delay. When owners ignore warning lights, the filter can become completely blocked, leaving replacement as the only option. Secret number seven, running low on fuel is extremely dangerous for diesels. One of the most damaging habits diesel owners have is letting the fuel level drop too low. Many drivers wait until the warning light comes on before refueling. In a diesel, this habit can cause serious damage. 
Diesel fuel systems operate under extremely high pressure. The fuel itself lubricates and cools the high pressure fuel pump and injectors. When the tank is low, air can enter the system. Sediment from the bottom of the tank can be pulled into sensitive components. Even a brief moment without proper fuel flow can damage the pump. Once damaged, the pump can send metal particles through the entire fuel system, turning a small mistake into a massive repair. Replacing a high-pressure fuel pump can cost anywhere from $800 to $2,000, not including labor. To avoid this, follow one simple rule. Refill your diesel when it reaches one quarter of a tank. Never let it drop below that level. All of these secrets share one thing in common. They go against what most people believe. That is why they are not widely known. But diesel owners who understand them see dramatic benefits. Their engines last longer. Fuel economy improves. Maintenance costs drop. Diesel ownership becomes reliable instead of stressful. Take your diesel on longer drives. Do not be afraid to use throttle when needed. Choose busy fuel stations. Respond to DPF warnings early. And never run the tank low. These habits cost nothing, but they can save you thousands of dollars and give your engine many extra years of life. The difference between expensive diesel ownership and reliable diesel ownership is often nothing more than knowledge.